So here we have uh, David. He's uh, now working on the center section of the panel where the two panels will weld together. He's just putting a little bit of shrink all the way through and uh, bringing it down and around. He started on the edge. Now he's going to come in a little deeper. And uh, we marked out with some lines on the areas where it needs shrinking, the areas where we're then going to be able to wheel and uh, get our four inch radius. Four inch radius is the radius that we're looking for. So just progressively shrinking it down before we start wheeling it into shape. Now that we've uh, turned the edge and did the shrinking, it fits the butt nicely. So now David's just doing the outside center. So it's really the center of the panel that he's wheeling up right now. He put in a little uh, shape, he shrunk the edge. He's now doing a bit of wheeling, just to smooth and blend. It's gonna be about a number three radius, and then that will correspond to the panel that's uh, the next section over towards the outside of the fender so a little bit of detail he's getting it going he's drawing in his margin lines starting to uh, fit up to the back real nice That's the beauty of having a buck is you can uh, make up your panels, you can make numerous up. This one's an elaborate buck that was made for me. But, uh Very nice. So once he's got this uh, taken care of and we've got it uh, sitting how he wants it, we're uh, going to be starting the uh, outside edge. So far, so good. So now David is going to make his uh, outer section. Starting with the beta bag.
So now we're getting to the stage where we shaped up the panel in the bag. And now Dave's got to uh, iron out all the walnuts and smooth them out a little bit. That way you can then jump into the smaller wheel and start uh, blending and smoothing and shaping the panel. So we're trying to uh, make this panel in as a relaxed manner as possible. It just came fresh out of the bag and uh, ironing up some of the uh, lumps and bumps. It's now going into the smaller bench top wheel. We've got a flat top in the bench top wheel as well, which will be conducive to him ironing out a lot of the walnuts, lumps and bumps. And then he'll go back into the full size wheel just to uh, get it really ironed out with some pressure. At the moment, he's just got very light pressure just to uh, make those bumps more regular, more even. A lot of people like to work on the inside of the wheel and I call that with the internal curve on the inside. I prefer to work with the curve on the opposite side. But this is Dave's first time using an English wheel. He, uh, he just purchased one about four days ago and uh, said, you know what, I think I need to take a class just to work out how to operate one of these. So uh, he's come in, do a five day class and chosen to do the trailer fender section that uh, is in a curve and some flat with flanges and uh, gives you quite a bit of experience rather than just wheeling in a straight line. So as you can see, the more he wheels it, the smoother the panel becomes. But because it's such a smooth bench top, the uh, real ironing out and smoothing and blending you'll be able to do a lot quicker and a lot easier in the full size cast wheel. The big difference between the two but, uh, is whatever you have to be able to make the job work. So this is the section we're now making. He's made his uh, top section Yeah, so now we're getting to the uh, critical stage. We're uh, shaping on the uh, outside panel and uh, Dave has smoothed up everything from the uh, beater bag, blending and smoothing. And now he's uh, getting a shape into the section, kind of like where the wide edge would be. And uh, just bringing that up to be nice, smooth and level and uh, take out the concave shaping to it that came in from the, the bagging. It's doing well. <clears throat> the panel's starting to, uh, to look good.
as he's wheeling, he's putting in the shape, and he's keeping an eye on the uh, amount of uh, curve that's uh, now going into the panel to make it more flat in the arc, rather than so concave, but he doesn't want it to go the other way where it comes up too much. So it's, uh, it's got quite a bit of pressure on the wheel, but uh, not too much. And uh, each time he runs it through, it's starting to work out to a little bit more crown, a little bit more crown. The important part is to uh, stay off the uh, edge. If you hit the edge, then everything goes backwards. It's starting to look good. Here we have David is um, starting to tack the two panels together. So we shaped up the outside edge, we shaped up the inside edge, we placed them together, we marked one into the other. And so now he's just tacking it together. It's, uh, it's been a long time since he's tick welded, he said, but uh, he's managing to tack it together with no rod. Got himself a good fit gap and he's just learning the techniques of how to manipulate two shaped panels to be able to get the area where he needs to tack together so he's doing well he's uh, tacked all the way down So here we have David doing some bead roll. He's never used a bead roller before, so he, uh, we've set it up that we pre-stretched the panel and uh, he laid out a design of different styles of bead roll on the panel. So we can basically uh, try some different techniques and things that he would be able to achieve on a floor pan on a vehicle. And so having pre-stretched the panel, and now doing our bead roll channels. It, uh, it's coming out nice and flat. It's doing a great job. Having a lot of fun doing it. I mentioned that uh, he enjoys the uh, Jamie Jordan bead roller from Mitla Brothers and the uh, table comes in real handy. David looking good so there we have it we just used the uh, round bead roll and we used the uh, two uh, step dies to do the channel went down one side went down the other 
laid it all out on his stops and starts and the lines that he wanted so you can see where the crisscross is, it's got a stop and start, but looking really good.